morning from Denmark guys. Today's video is going to be some investment talk. We're going to leave Paris alone, we're going to leave Stockholm alone, and we're going to leave Antwerp alone. We're going to talk, overlook stickers, cases to bring into CS2, and a little surprise maybe. We're going to look at some of my investments. Let's go guys. Here we got 10 of some overlooked classic stickers that I think is worth considering if you want to invest in something else. Some safe investments. We got the Dragon Law Foil. That's number one. Almost $11. Got one of my favorites. $3. Ace Devil Foil. Really nice colors, guys. Some gold face on a black background. I think it looks really good. Got the Global Elite. Pretty classic. Got the Great Wave Foil. Only $1. Looks amazing on the blue phosphor. The long Longevity. I don't like this one. Almost $7. Another one of my favorites, the Runtime Hollow, $838, looks amazing guys. We also got the Infinity Triangle, same colors if you know that one. This looks amazing guys, the Purists, this Crazy Cat, the Two Karambits, $5, one of my favorite stickers. The Gold Web Foil, also a classic, starting at $148, this is one of the ugliest ones. Great Wave Hollow, if you like it, buy a lot. The Incineration, classic, old school, if you've been playing CSGO since the beginning, you know this sticker. So, 10 Overlook stickers, my favorites, the Purist Foil, the Runtime Hollow, the Great Wave for the Blue Phosphor, and we got the Ace Devil Foil. I really like this one. I really like this one. Only $3, $3. good investment, guys. So, let's look at some of the cases that I've been buying for going into CS2. And that I think is safe investment. Let's go. So let's look at some of the favorite cases to bring into CS2. Gonna first look at the chroma cases. The chroma cases got the Dopplers and they got some shiny skins. Shiny skins, guys, for CS2 is a good investment. In the new lighting, these skins will explode. In the chroma 3 case, we got the Chanticleer's Fire. Really nice gun. Also 139 euros. We got 30 possible knives. Some of the big streamers have been pulling some insane knives from this one. We got the Bayonet Mar Marble Fate, we got the Tiger Tooth. Ooh, we got the Doppler, the Damascus Steel, the Flip Knives. Wow, we got the Gut Knives, Dopplers. Wow, cool, cool knife skins in this case, guys. The M9 Bayonet Maple Marble Fate, one of my favorites. Look at the price, guys. Wow. So, chroma cases, it's a good investment, I think, it's only around 2 euros on Steam, it's a pretty good case. The next one is the Fracture case, guys. The Fracture case is currently in the Axis drop pool, it's the oldest case, it should be the case that is removed when the first new case come out in CS2. That means that it will drop 57 times less than it does right now. And that will make the price rise, of course. Uh, it's a cheap investment, 0 0.56 euros on Steam. It has big potential for cheap investment. The next one that I think is as good as the, as the Chroma cases is the Prisma case. The Prisma case got, yeah, it's cheap, it's 0 0.65. It got some really expensive knives also. It got 24. Knives. We got some Navaha knives, really nice ones. Got the stiletto knives in here. We got the Talon knives. Got the Ursus knife. So we got some special knives. I really like the stiletto knives. So that was some of the more regular cases. If you wanna have some cases that are never dropped again, never, never, ever. In CSGO, CS2, it's Riptide, Broken Fang, and Shattered Web. These cases will never be dropped again. So every time a case opens, theoretically, the price will go up. It's safe investment, guys. It's not the best investment, uh, but it's uh, safe, it's steady, and that's, for some people, a good investment. It's, it's not the biggest returns, but if you are in here for safe investments, then I think that the, the Operation Riptide, the Operation Broken Fang, and the Operation Shattered Web are safe investments. So guys, 
some of the more expensive investments that I think is really safe to bring into CS2. So if you're one of those high rollers, this is for you. First we got my favorite, the M4A1S, the blue phosphor. As I said earlier, shiny skins for CS2 guys. This one is one of the favorites. Favorites. It's, it's got big hypes in the beginning. It's, it's still, you can still buy it. Factory new is 810. Mineral wear is 900 euros. But guys, look, look at this in game. The blue phosphor from the control collection. Amazing skin guys. In CS2 new lighting, it looks way different. Way more shiny. This is one of the better investments. A bit, big, bit expensive, but a cool one. Next one, I got the AK-47 Hydroponic. Really like this skin guys. It, there's not so, so many of them in game, so they have a high price. Field tested, field tested is 1000 euros. But it's a really safe investment I think. It's safe money, it looks better in CS2. It's a long-term investment. They have really low supply. And least but not last, they have the flex factor. Everybody loves the flex factor. Show some expensive games or knives in, in game. Uh, for CS2, you can also go for the Doppler knives and the Fate knives. I think they are gonna have a boost in CS2 no lighting. If you wanna go invest in gloves, guys, be careful. If a new set of gloves comes out and there's only one in red right now that you buy and another red pair of gloves comes when CS2 comes out, your investment will go down really fast. So, so be careful with the, with the gloves. Uh, some examples for gloves to bring into CS2 is the Hyper Gloves. I think the case hardened, they got, they got new patterns. Uh, I don't like them that much, but it's, it's a decent one for investing in CS2. If you want to go for gloves, I'm not investing in gloves. I go for knives and play skins. Uh, you also got the uh, glove, sports gloves, uh, Vice. They're also really nice gloves. Have a nice color in CS2. So that was some of the expensive skins. Let's go look at some of my investments. So let's take a look at some of my earlier investments. Gonna show you just a bit. We're not gonna talk Paris. We're gonna take a look at some of Stockholm's or maybe an Antwerp or two. But this is some Vitality stickers that I bought around a year ago. The price, yeah, I think I got them for 69 or something. Must be around here. Yeah, around here. They skyrocketed with the CS2 hype and the Paris Major. I could have sold for 1282. I sold half of my positions at around the 10, 10 euro mark. But remember, I bought them for under uh, under a euro. Today they dropped a bit. They are still at 450, and I bought them around this. So still a pretty good investment, guys, for the Vitality Hollow from Stockholm. One of my better investments. Then we got my Entropic, the Hollow from Stockholm. I bought this right after the sale at almost a euro, around a euro, and it's just skyrocketed. I sold half of my positions in this peak at around the 12, 12 euro mark, but it's still going up. I kept a few, and it's going up, going up, going up. One of my best investments from Stockholm. Then I got my Vitality Gold from Antwerp. I bought a few of these in a lifetime here. After the sale, went down to around 3 euros for gold. It skyrocketed with the CS2 hype. I sold almost all my positions at the 22 euro mark. Exceptional performance. Exceptional payback, guys. It's still a good investment right now. It's going for around uh, 6.99. And I bought it for 3 something. So it's still a good investment. But if you sell at the peaks, guys, you can make a lot of money. So remember to stay tuned with your Paris investment. That was all for today, guys. Let me know in the comments what video you want to see next. Do you need some info or some specific items? I will try and make a video for you. Have a nice day. See you in Counter-Strike, guys.